Okay, hi there. We saw a series of industrial strikes on board last week, and on Friday, the Trade Civil Service Association withdrew a notice. We're all breathing like heavy sighs of relief. And it's more than 30,000 members who are government workers who strike today. The president of the JCSA, Bill Grant, talks to us about the negotiation. Good morning, sir. Welcome. Boy, oh boy. Mm -hmm. Great news, eh? It is a relief. It is a relief. Uh, for every one of us. So, look, what was the original plan going to be today? Like, nothing would function anyway. Everything would just be shut off. Airports, seaports, tax offices, you name it. True? Like, seriously? And that's what would have happened this morning if some conciliation would take place. And the contention is, you tell us. Well, we have some items that have been negotiated, that were um, still being negotiated, and we saw some moves being made to. She put them under the compensation of where there was not enough dialogue. And we made some outreaches in relation to those, and the responses were extremely poor. And so we decided that we will have to send a message that this is untenable. And when you say the responses were poor, is it that you did not get a response, or is it that the response was not satisfactory we, to you? We, we got a response that was not satisfactory. And... Um, Given where we were and the indicators that we had set, we thought that the government didn't pay enough attention to what we were actually saying. And so we had to let them understand that this is very serious. We can't allow a soft response to a very difficult um, question that was asked. Yep. I suspect work to rule, go slow, strike would be a last resort. It is. So how many hurdles you jumped before you reached here? Oh, several. So, yeah. Several. So you exhausted all of we, what we you... You exhausted all of them. And, and as a responsible union, we didn't just jump and go. We indicated that we are giving you notice and we mm -hmm. explained exactly why it is that we want to take the action that we are taking. Um, 72 hours notice was given. We didn't want to just get up one morning and the place was just completely shut down. That would be totally irresponsible. You want to but the NWC workers did do that. Um, that is a different context. How so? And I, I, you can't speak to them? I wouldn't want to speak to you, no, because that matter has been resolved. But did I, no, not, but, but, forward, yeah. did I not hear, though, that they had said something that we're going to strike, though, or they just get up one man and say we don't They know. didn't give they didn't, any there was notice. notice. Right. No, there was no notice. No, right. No. So why would you not want to address? I mean, I mean, there were many people who are not putting on, I seem to be putting you on the spot, but I don't want to put you on the spot. But one of the criticisms out of what could have happened today mm -hmm. had you not come to this ag agreement mm -hmm. um, is that a lot of folks are saying you folks are holding the country hostage. I mean, NWC started out enjoying the benefit of a lot of people's mm -hmm. understanding, and then after two days, people mm -hmm. were like, what right. are you doing? So do you understand that line that you're yes. straddling? Yes, we, we, we do. And any trading leader will tell you that strike action is the last thing that they want because it doesn't only damage the the company or the entity that the action is being taken against the but the customers country, right. and the country will also be affected but it is so dire mm -hmm. for the employees and their livelihood and how they are going forward that they feel that they have no choice mm -hmm. um, some of it is a simmering discontent that has now reached an epic Eclipse. point and it just boiling over. had to come out. Having said all of that, Mr. President, then why six months, guys? It sounds like it's today you need to Okay, so, so exactly there, 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 are, there, are, there are several things at play. Um, the compensation review is being done now in terms of its um, consultation and the minister has quite clearly indicated that he wants to do that first phase come July 1. But we have to go through, look at what has been proposed, see where the, the kinks are, where the anomalies are, give the ministry feedback so that they can address them. What the minister has, has secondly said is that the, the statutory bodies, the public bodies outside of the core central civil service, that their review will be completed in the next six months. So we expect that six months from now, everybody would have been, would have been um, covered under the review. Here's why I asked the question, because I suspect, as you said, you've been saying, I want this, I want this, for many money right. moons, and you're not. So why six months? I, I thought you had the meeting. I'm saying, all right, this is what you want. All right, we're going to give it. Some of these entities have um, incompleted or in train reclassification exercises that will impact the compensation review. And which take time. Right, and the NWC matter was one of those, that there was a reclassification exercise that they were quite anxious that, I mean, if we are going to be treated with either the reclassification or the compensation review, 
So what the minister has indicated is that, okay, fine. Um, we, we recognize that we we're not probably as fulsome in communicating what the intention was in relation to the bodies, the public bodies. So here's what is going to happen. We are going to be doing the central core civil service, first with the police, the teachers, the nurses, the civil service. And then in the next round, the next six months, we are going to be doing the, the public bodies, which will include your, your water commissions, your NHTs, and those other entities that are statutory um, organizations. So um, the intention is um, that everybody will be touched under the compensation. It's just a matter of phasing and how you bring on the groups. Um, so does this mean that there is now a grace, for want of a better phrase, period? Right. Well, we don't have to worry right. for the next six months at least right. Right. about so, any more strike action? Or? Like any change. One of the problems yeah. that this change has brought up is that we didn't communicate as well as we should. And if there's going to be such a massive change, the minister describes it's a once in a generation opportunity to fix compensation. And the anxiety that has come about because of the, 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 the weakness in the communication, there's no a concerted effort to make sure that that is, that is fixed. Um, the ministry's approach has been to go and individually speak to the forty seven groups that are out there, and the groups are now to come back with their feedback on, on relation, in relation to what has been dis discussed with them. And the, the intention going forward is that the deepening of the consultation will be of such that every other group will be fixed. Um, one of the things that has also come out of it is that the the whole issue of collective bargaining, mm -hmm. which underpins everything that is happening you now, even though it's a mm -hmm. social dialogue. Um, consultative process, but it still has the, the, the pinnings, the underpinnings of, of a collective bargaining arrangement because when you're affecting benefits, you have to talk to people about what it is that you're asking them to give up. So institutions, coming out of this, I'm sure that institutions will be created to make the collective bargaining process more efficient and lend itself to a process where people feel as if they are being heard, not feel as if they are going to be heard, and that the government itself will have an opportunity to address all the concerns in a very small window, so we're not going to drag out to deeper, deeper, deeper. You've said a lot, President, we're running out of time. Is this just about salary? No, it's not. It's not just about salary. It's about the, the, the conditions of work that we have in the public sector. Mean, which means? Um, it means how, how our benefits, our leave, everything that we, that we have as a worker in the public sector will be addressed under the compensation review. And if you are making such a monumental change, not just the salaries, because salary is just one aspect of it. Um, and even though it is very, very important, we're talking about all the benefits that we have as public sector workers and how those are going to be accommodated under our compensation review. And um, that includes what? Vacation leave? Vacation leave, duty, um, allowances, um, traveling, traveling okay. duty concession, mm -hmm. you name it. Kind of come down to money still. Mm -hmm. Some of it is money, um, some of it is not necessarily money. Because um, some of those allowances actually redound to good financial right, benefits, right. so it's indirect, not really just indirect, right. Indirectly, it does. That it was, does. my um, question was similar to Nev's question, because there are people watching who can't understand mm -hmm, yeah. what you, you're on and going on about, mm -hmm. and I wanted you to bring it home to us to sure. help us understand that this sure. is not just about the salaries, it's about, it's a, it's it's, a it's, it's, yeah, comprehensive... It's, um, it is very comprehensive. Yeah. Um, it's about how we as public sector workers are now going to view our relationship with the government going forward. It's not just about how they pay us, okay. but it's about all the things that makes us public sector workers. And those are going to be impacted by the review, even though it's not compensation. Yeah, final, final question from me, sir, and I have almost every single year, every single year, you hear people complaining about we want more. Yes. Nurse them, we're not getting it. Are you satisfied that after six months we're going to be all right for the next little while, well, or no? One of the things that we as a union have always said is that you get a salary increase this month, six months later you want another salary increase. Inflation. Which is not sustainable. <laughs> but yeah. that's my point. So yeah. are so we going to, we will be sitting here next year again and say, well, if they not do this, we strike And that is week. one of the beauty of what has been proposed. Um, what has been proposed under the compensation review is that there will be periodic reviews to ensure that the market position that will be determined in this phase is maintained over time using an institutionalized process to ensure that it is properly studied and agreed on, and then we move forward. So as the market changes, your... We will now review where the salaries are to make sure that... And, you are, and no, you are satisfied that this We have to be happen. satisfied. Yeah. <laughs> yes. right. We have because, no choice, we have yes. no choice, so, because it's good faith. Right, exactly. Right. As the so union and boss, you're a public sector worker? I am. Of course, he's a public sector yes. worker. Of course, he's a public sector worker. So, you, so you, are, you are now convinced, Anil, that the government is at a place where they, li they listen, they understand their position, and something will be done. Yes.
Okay. Yes, and there has been a lot of discussion. The private sector is on board, and they are really supporting the compensation review, which is which is which is phenomenal because you never hear the private sector coming out and saying, "Pay the public sector workers more, yeah. fix the compensation." So we really appreciate all the support that we have that this um, matter has been um, get, getting, and we hope that as a country um, we are able to fix the compensation is for public sector workers, so we can go forward as one. Can okay, you guys add that bonus so much? We have news, so we have to go. Good to Thank see you. Thank you for all your good news, work. Sir. Let me just throw it. Happy birthday to my father. Today is his birthday. Happy birthday, Daddy. Yes. What's his name? Calvin. Calvin Grant. He is on Instagram. He is on Instagram. He's <laughs> <laughs> yes, on doing one. Big things, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Anil. Good to see you. President of Jamaica. <laughs> no, he's the president of the oh, Jamaica. Yes. <laughs> President of the Jewish Casino Service Association. It's called a Freudian slip. <laughs> Mr. Right. I need that delivery. Promotion. <laughs> <laughs> right? Right. 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 Right.